Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Cloudy Sheep, and we are playing Rule of the Waves. We're playing the, U the US and currently in the process of designing a battle cruiser. Uh, reason for that being that we are somewhat um, on top of other nations, maybe except for Great Britain in terms of battleships. Um, and in all other dimensions, really, um, just as well, except for really battle cruisers. Where I think we um, are somewhat behind both Germany and Great Britain over here. Um, and we're thinking about designing a ship to counter these nations. So, Great Britain um, has some very, very interesting uh, ships that are being built up here, uh, the Incomparable, uh, which is indeed incomparable because it's much, much, much more heavy than any of our current ships. Uh, you can see our biggest ship currently is uh, 32,000 tons. This one will be uh, 5,000 tons uh, more than that. So, yeah, pretty significantly, actually. Uh, we don't know much about else about this ship, um, so you know it's just being built now. It's probably going to finish next year. Uh, we do know a bit about the uh, Indefitable over here, which has which has 12 14-inch guns. Uh, that's pretty massive. Um, it's not that quick at 25 knots, I feel. Um, although I think they have one at least here that we think is 26 knots. Although I'm not too sure why that should be. Um, Germany, on the other hand, is um, a bit has a bit faster ships, uh, 27 knots over here, uh, also with 12 guns, but um, 12 inch guns at that, and a bit better armor even, so interesting draws I have to say, and 24 6 inch guns, so not bad as well. Um, they're also building some more ships that are not quite as massive, but yeah, they are there. So we think that on in, in light of that, in light of that, uh, we should actually be building more battle cruisers. <clears throat> And as always, look at that, Jefferson. Come on, there we go. Thank you. So uh, that is a ship, a ship that uh, we thought about over here. <clears throat> in the meantime, you guys have given me some advice, and I think some very prudent one on that. Um, so I would like to, this to be a fleet battleship. I think with the 27 knot speed. Uh, we can run away from, from British ships. Um, they are, as far as we know at least, um, not quite as quick as we are. Um, on the other hand, I'm very afraid that we would um, lose this ship to, to an unlucky hit. So I think we really want to armor up. Um, and by now, you know, even at extreme ranges, um, our own shells could penetrate um, even the turrets or the conning tower just like that. So it doesn't even need to be a very strong hit. So due to that reason, I think we sh should lose some of the guns. And the first one I'm going to clear up here is um, this after bumpers turret. So maybe just have nine um, guns overall. I think that would be a very nice choice. That does give us about uh, 3,000 tons in um, in weight. Uh, I think I would like to uh, increase these things here a bit, um, just so that we have a bit more secondary guns. I'm going to leave it at caliber 7. Um, I know I could go to 6, um, but at caliber 7 uh, we had a quality 1 gun, so I like that idea. Uh, similar here with the 4 inch um, guns, of which you have 5 on each side. I guess we could increase that drastically. The weight isn't that, that much, um, and if there's ever a destroyer, let's say in a night fight, we might want to wreck it pretty quickly. And this is quality 1 as well, so that's very nice. I still think we don't have um, the ability to build that in turrets up here, so we're going to leave it in Kazmat, um, and that's going to do fine. Torpedo defense is in there, excellent. Um, long range, reliable engines, 27 knots, I think all of this looks pretty fantastic. Um, I don't think I want to reduce um, the, the caliber up here. Um, I think with the 20% with the armament, um, we are going pretty good, and I like to have the big guns because um, we need to be able to do some some damage. Keep in mind, the best things we have um, are 14-inch guns on some of our battleships. Uh, nothing in our fast fleet is actually um, heavier than 12 inches, so I would like to change that, um, get a bit more punch, but maybe on, on fewer guns, just so we can hurt them in principle. So let's um, armor up a bit. Um, I think we need to be a bit more heavy on our turrets, at the very least, um, also on the 
top. Yeah, I think about 100 tons, that's fine. Um, conning tower as well, there's no uh, that much weight in there as well. Um, at, this, at the ranges that we are probably fighting, we also have to consider um, plunging fires, I think. This is probably the most um, drastic step in, in terms of weight. It's massive. It's really massive. Um, I don't think we can use that. But I'll, um, do we really want to have the deck armor quite as high as the belt armor, I wonder? Probably not quite as much. Let's say 2 on the extended deck. 2.5 on the deck. The belt armor we probably want to increase a bit. And extend the belt as well. Oh, that does leave us at, at very little um, weight. In fact, no weight at all. Um, hmm, tertiary guns. Decrease the caliber after all, or have fewer of them, maybe. No, no, no. I don't think that's a good idea. We should really be working with two uh, improved directors, so I'm not quite convinced. Um, I still want to have this um, arrangement of, of two guns, or like six guns, two turrets in the front, um, one of which must be super firing, so that we can, um, in chasing battles, um, give quite a lot of heat off to the enemy. Um, similarly, I want to have one gun pointing to the back, so that you know if the German cruisers, battle cruisers, come at us, uh, we have something to to defend against them. Now, a big change would, of course, be if we could um, change the engine priority over here. But again, we might need to be fighting a war in northern Europe, where we don't have any bases, and if a ship like that would. Um, fall prey to something abnormal that, that really wouldn't be too great. So yeah, I think um you know what? This is this is broadly inconsistent. Let's let's dial this up um, and that down a bit, maybe even more. This this doesn't leave us um at a lot of weight remaining um but I think then again you know the ammo on, on these types of guns is so drastically um I mean, it's 2,000 tons just for the armor, um, so as uh, so for, for the ammo. Um, so I think you know, if we ever need to improve the director, so an advanced director maybe, um, it will be fine. We will skip a bit on the on the guns, uh, which will be more accurate anyway. Then um, increased elevation. So let's check that this is all good. Yeah, I think that does make sense. Good. Let's do it. Um, yes, please. Do we want to build it then? It's really costly, but we are running a, a positive balance over here, so at 160 million, I think that is something that we want to do. Yes, let's build a Jetson. We're going to build a single one for now. 10 million. There we go, though. Um, yeah, but I think that is going to be fine and required. Um, a couple of Raleigh classes being built. Um, can I actually view that design? Now you have direct instead of improved director. We might want to change that. We don't have any any of these guys finished, do we? More into common. Not a lot of ships around now, especially due to the pending claws and all that. Um, but yeah, we we keep them around. Um, the demon claws. I think the demon claws could also be improved. Um, up here, and maybe that is a worthwhile endeavor. Nearly a million. Let's do it. Um, you will. You could carry some mines, but um, we don't really have the weight for that. Um, maybe if we dial down to. Hmm. No, not really. It's just one position. That's fine. Um. No, I don't think you know with the speed as it is. Um. These guys aren't competitive anymore anyway. I think they are more really second line duty. Alright then, two million. Um there's one last thing I wanted to discuss, and that is I don't like raiders. Um I've I've been a bit burned in one of our latest war with Russia. Uh, due to the fact that they could um send out a lot of raiders and we were stuck in battle in, in cruiser 
battles all of the time um, and that was a bit bit irksome because we didn't we did get a, um, out on top of that of, on, on top of them uh, but it didn't feel like we were winning all the time so um, you know seeing that we are still very much competing against Russia uh, Great Britain over here and um, I would like to see whether it's viable to build a light cruiser destroyer and um, their light cruisers have a speed about of about 26 um, this is here, the latest design up here, the Palace class. Well, it's been around for at least seven years, so interesting to see. Um, five six inch guns on a broadside, about three firing forward, two and a half inch um, belt armor. So let's see whether we can um, do something that that could go through as a Palace destroyer. Uh, let's also think about briefly about Russia, 27 speed knots. 5,000 ton ships, also with five six inch guns and two and a half belt armor. So let's see what we can design. I think, and I'm going to regret this, but let's uh, let's think about um, a ship up here that could do that. Um, I think what it would need is definitely a speed to, to match at least the Russian uh, ships, of course. If we're going to hunt down um, ships all over the globe, we will need um, a long range and a reliable engine. Um, so that's fine. I think it should be oil fired nevertheless. Um, these guys did have six inch um, armors. And so our definitely our um, structure here will be two triple turrets in the front um, so that we can chase them down and kill them if we need them. Certainly not with six inch guns, but let's see. Um, the performance up here. So at maximum range it can penetrate 3 inches um, of armor at 5. So if we were to have 7 inches of armor and, and 1 inch on, on of top armor I think we should be fine. So let's go with 7 inch belt armor deck to be 1.5 was it? No, 1 in. 1 is fine then. Um, sorry, over here um, I don't think 0.5 is allowed. I don't think 0.5 is allowed. Uh, nope, it's not. So maybe even scrap this. No, just grab it. Belt extended. Then um, this is pretty massive, but I think it should be fine. Mm. Conning tower. Of course, we want to be a bit well armored. Um, turrets. Let's also say. These guys should be a bit better armored to the top. Um, 1.5 should be fine. Secondary is 2 is 2. Normal accommodation. Certainly, certainly so. Good. Um, is this somewhat um, acceptable? Yeah, it would be. Um, roughly, <laughs> at least. Um, belt armor is, is very extensive. I'm, I'm not sure whether we want to dial down on that. I mean, 7 would be protecting us very well. Um, but maybe we can dial it down a scooch. 6.5? Let's, let's take 6.5. Right then. Um, in terms of the main guns, I'm thinking that we should, of course, more than beat them. I'm thinking maybe 9 inch guns. It's not massive, but it should be really enough to, to kill a cruiser. Um, yeah, and it definitely can at all ranges um, penetrate their armor. Remember that was 2.5. So I think that looks very lovely. Um, let's do increased elevation. Does that cost you anything? It does not. So yeah, there we go. Extending the range a bit. Um, very lovely. Our main battery will actually be our secondary battery, uh, which we're going to take 7 inches. Um, and we want to match their broadsides, which were 5 um, guns. Obviously, you need to direct over here. So now we have five guns on each side with a higher uh, caliber. We have better main guns forward. Um, I think we want, also want to be very um, active with tertiary guns. So yeah, that should be nice. Um, let's scooch this up. Is it a hundred tons? Yeah, nevertheless, let's really make sure we can wreck them. Not a, no torpedoes. That's fine with me. Um, yeah, so let's see whether this would be viable if we um, dial up the weight and, and how much we end up um, paying for this uh, thing. 
I found that that's maybe too much. Let's. Mm. Fine, you know, let's go. Let's go 14,000. Much bigger ship. Some nine caliber guns. That's okay, I think. Um, should probably double up the ammo then. Secondary guns. Six on each side. Plus ten four caliber guns, so easily able to wreck um, other stuff as well. Belt armor, fine. Belt extended, eh, not so fine to be honest. Um, deck, I think is okay. Conning tower, could maybe increase a bit. Let's put that at nine. It's not that drastic anyway. Um, so let's increase the belt armor slightly. Well, no, maybe not so slightly. On the middle ground, that's a bit too exact. I think this is okay. Right then, at 55 million, which is significant, it's about a third of um, of our main battle cruisers. But I think I like the design. I think I like the idea to to hunt down um, raiders and and light cruisers of the enemy if they appear anywhere. Uh, we'll certainly not put this into our main battle line, and I think we'll even keep it out of um, of our um, of areas where it would be coming under attack. So for 80 tons, 200,000 we can design a colonial service. Maybe worthwhile. If we go down to 150, yeah. I think this is fine. Damn it. Of course I'd want to be have the best torpedo defense. Damn it. <laughs> so it's not, it doesn't work quite as well. So let's see how heavy does it need to be, 500 tons more. Yeah, I don't think it changes the overall picture. It's fine then, let's, let's make it slightly bigger, but the better torpedo defenses. All okay, let's, let's do this. Um, let's call this, this is really a special class, and I don't think we would want to call it Pig Pittsburgh. Um, the city names we're using for light cruisers and this is this is something else. This is um two Vesuv. I think that would be that would work. Let's save this design. Let's build one of them. Also I need to clean this up at some point. Um here we go. Yes, thank you. Fifty five million, build time is a bit lower. Two million um, a month cost. Yes, please do develop that. Uh, we are more or less at zero. Um, we are building a couple of these wallies. Um But yeah, they should be done very, very soon. So excellent. <laughs> Let's actually take a turn this uh, turn. Oh, and the uh, submarines are finishing up. So that's, I think, about two million in cost as well. But here we go. Um, just, just as we do that, um, we see that there's a massive... Ooh, okay, Russia, the Russians are doing gunnery. Intelligent service has acquired stuff from the Russians, that's also good to see. Uh, although other people are acquiring stuff from us as well. Um, yeah. You know what, 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 I mean, we just paid an, a huge amount of money on this thing, but if we were to build it now, um, it wouldn't be such, an, such a big amount of weight that we are saving, is it? No, it's fine. Let's 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 keep it as is then. Uh, we are making money. Sorry about that. Uh, we are making money, and that is, I think, very fantastic. Uh, all of these guys are working up. Some of them are sh still in reserve, are they not? Nope. Everyone is active. Ah, uh, well, probably just from the um, reconstruction then. Take another turn till we see what the Raleigh are doing. Yeah, see the Raleigh is um, having trouble uh, with the speed, which is not nice. It's really not nice. Nevertheless, I think we should redesign you, give you the improved director. Um, yeah, not much more that we need to do. Maybe. Slightly less ammo just so you have some reserve. Yeah, there we go then. 
Yes, please do upgrade. You upgrade. Not a mess, of course, but still. Right, so I think this uh, ship has been a bit of a failure in, because it, it just doesn't reach uh, the designed speed. But I think we would need that, um, especially against potentially Germany, even Russia maybe. Um, things aren't looking that great. Speaking of Russia, it looks like we are very close to a new war, so that we should keep in mind. Um, can we actually build attack motor boats? I don't think we can. I don't think we can. Do we need to design them? And how would they actually... Is it XX? Kind of well design. Um, I'm not sure how these guys would look. A torpedo boat squadron. It's not a destroyer. Would it be just a moat? I'm not sure. This is this is something that we did discover over here, light forces and torpedo warfare. Um and that it's not quite what we think is needed. Um oh well, anyway. Um you are on medium, which I think is fine. Heavy shells, medium. Let's put this to medium because we're actually seeing that Russia let's actually maybe even put it to high because we're seeing that Russia um has this enormous amount of submarines, 67 submarines, um, which is massive. So we want to um, be able to defend against these guys. Let's take a turn. There we go. Very nice. Our people in North Korea take it over as a colony. Japan. I don't really care about Japan. Damn it. Okay. Oh, and there we go. War with Russia. Very interesting to see. So here we go. Our very first action, cruise action in uh, Puerto Rico, in the Caribbean. Um, not even sure what we have in the area, but we'll have to see. Uh, but I think that has to wait until next time. Thank you very much for watching. See you then. Bye-bye.